there was always a distinction between goods coming from GB into Northern Ireland versus goods going from Northern Ireland into GB. Uh, and you know, we spent, as I say, uh, many hours discussing and negotiating that, uh, and I think explaining it too. So like, I'm not going to get into what's being said and who's saying it in the context of a British general election. You know, that's a matter for, um, for political leaders to make their own case. But certainly the Irish government's understanding of how this new arrangement will work if it's ratified uh, is quite clear. But is it disingenuous, therefore, to say there won't be any checks either way? Well, look, that, that's a matter for, for those who are involved in the debate in the UK. Um, uh, our job uh, is to make sure that, that, that we represent uh, the deal that was negotiated accurately uh, for people who ask. And, uh, and as I say, the Irish government's position, I think, is clear. Um, uh, the EU has always said that it will work with the UK to try to minimise the impact on, on trade between Northern Ireland uh, and GB. Uh, and as I said, that effectively means unfettered access of goods originating in Northern Ireland going into GB, as well as unfettered access for goods in Northern Ireland entering the EU single market. Um, so Northern Ireland is effectively getting the best of both worlds here, which is why it's, I think, a very good deal for Northern Ireland. Um, but there are, um, there are certain consequences in terms of the need for checks for goods travelling from, from GB into Northern Ireland uh, because of the commitment, of course, to have an absence of any physical border checks or infrastructure between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland.